What is up, everyone? Hope you guys are having a great morning, evening, night, whatever time you're watching this. And we're back again. Back out again like we never left for uh, more Spider-Man Remastered, baby. Let's get it. All right. Um, But, yeah. I, I got nothing. I ain't got shit to say. Let's get it. All right. Let's eliminate the demon. So, you know me. We got we to gotta, we gotta hit the stealth. You know what I mean? Oh fuck, the wrong person I wanted to shaft. Yeah, they're just they're blind as fuck. I literally didn't see that coming. You're in the Blind motherfucker. Alright, alright. Well, let's see, let's take a gander here. Oh, damn. Oh, no. I got spotted. Get fucked. Okay, that's all of them. Security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Looks like I could override the circuit. Need my electric webs. Well, that did something. Looks like the circuits need a little more juice. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it. One more box? God. That's it. Interesting. Must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. All the paths originate from the sick explosives from Fisk's construction site. 
lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. Guns from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? This is crazy. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, hmm. did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. <sighs> be careful. Let's get them. Oh man. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. For sure. Wow. Just so, just so uh, soothing, just flying and swinging through the city. Oh no. Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly. But also with style. Bro, the amount of focus I have right now is insane. I am locked in, bro. Ooh, killer. Bro, I'm cleaning house. Get everyone separated in here.
Oh god, I fucked up. He's not out here. Better check inside. <laughs> yeah, I guess that worked mostly. Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. What else hmm. can I find around here? They have bases all around the city. Interesting. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Hey, MJ, I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign office. Nice. No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. Sounds familiar. But I'll check it out and get back to you. Damn. Dead. Oh my god, bro. Boom, get fucked. Copy Silverbird, we're descending to location. There's another one. Safety's off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a. Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Down! Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverburn. Entrance, solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later.
Well, it sounds like you were a little bit too fucking late. Fill the hell out. Not gonna lie, this suit's just so fucking dope. Hey, sorry about that sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find no. each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this, and what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Let's get it. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hmm, this office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Never seen that room before. Bro, can I get in this fucking room? this much power i understand but the account number is in mr lee's office which is inaccessible i will call you back as soon as i can get that in lee did so much for new york i can't believe he was hiding such dark that room i saw from the crawl space it should be right on the other side of the shrine wait lee's journal I wonder where the lock is. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Thing. Huh. Looks like this note is for May. No shit. That right there's your evidence, buddy. Hmm. 
Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. What are you hiding, Lee? He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Creepy. Not in every case, but okay, buddy. This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Well, he must have been obsessed with him. Oh, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Huh. Phew. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. Come get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait! Well, that was interesting. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. 
But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool, see ya. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? Huh. <sighs> what should I cook? That is indeed interesting. Oh my oh, god. Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. What, did you just get right laid? There. I wonder if this means I have a job again. Yes, I can stop by just for a minute. 1043. The mass terrorists have taken a bus hostage. Officers needed in Hudson Town. Missed another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet. But I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple crossed, Doc. Almost there. Hey, doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Interesting. Huh. What happened? Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Well, that's fucking tragic. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were? when we can make them better. Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? Everything okay? Damn it! 
This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Brutal. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Boom. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. It's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. W. W man. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, your work will still be here when you get back. What's that? All right.
Let's do a bullshit. Hey, sorry next. I missed your call. Were you still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, uh, dinner at MJ's. <clears throat> no expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. You better fucking call quick. Calling agent stationed in the tenderloin. What's your status? Control, APC Bravo, engaging demons. Bam. Hey, I'm not with those guys, but I'm still gonna kick your butt. Oh my god, bro. Sorry guys, kinda gotta see something, do something code. That's crazy. And you know. Boom, get fucked. All right. Bro should have thought twice. Like, did you not just see your buddies? Wow. Crazy. The longer the demons stay out there, the more lives they put at risk. I need to stop them. Company's insurance better be up to date. So, I saw something in interesting today that I, like, want to touch on. Now that we actually have some time to chill out between missions here, I want to say it. So, Obviously, if you're like any sort of like involved in sports or know anything about sports, uh, you probably saw the uh, Travis Hunter incident where he eventually got his fucking liver lacerated, which is honestly fucking brutal and insane. But then I just saw today another incident in which it was a it was a LA Tech game or stuff like that. Oh my god! All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> but basically, like this dude literally, like fucking. Oh my god. He put it. I think he got his foot on this guy's neck when he was down and like stomped on him a little bit. You know what I mean? Not like stomped on, him, but like he pushed him down to get up and then put his foot like did like a like like all of a sudden walked backwards with his right foot on the guy's like fucking neck like slash head. Like, it was, it, I'm, like, bro, I swear to fuck, college football just has no fucks when they see this shit happen. Like, the guy who did it to, uh, Blackburn, bro, didn't he get ejected? He had, like, the most obvious late hit known to fucking man, did not get ejected, did not do anything, nothing. I, I, I think college football is just where, you know, you injure people, not give a fuck, and the refs don't see it. Even though, literally, you could see the ref run right like, just almost right next to them. Yet, yeah, bro didn't see it. Or just bro just didn't want to say shit. I don't know. It's hard to watch football when when people who do dumb shit just don't get held accountable. Especially college football. I'm like, you, like, 
These fucking people are gonna start hurting each other. Like, really bad. Here. You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address, Pete. I don't want to play as no, MJ again. No, us. bro. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Need to get into that office. What are they building? Is this all for only really careful? Vehicle needs tires this big. Where, where is it? I swear I left it over here. What is this? Some kind of millet office must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? Bro, I could not see that motherfucker. That's crazy. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? Who is that? Wait! They're all just camping in the office. A disappointment. Bro just lost his head. And now I need a new welder. Wild. Blueprints. 
An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? They're here. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear from my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the great dumpling catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking... What if we teamed up? But, what, you want to be my sidekick? Or like, a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Bro, Gordon Ramsay would be ashamed. It's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. He's gone already. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh. Where do you want me to, uh... Just a couch is fine. <laughs> <laughs> See you later? Yeah. <laughs> Bro was shook. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp, single, known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's got to be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Boom, bitch, get pranked. You know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something. Bro, she just got tricked so hard. So, are we partners now? No. Because it sure feels like we are. Partners. Uh, sounds good. Okay. Awkward. Yeah. Partner. More awkward than Sam and Neon. Oh shit! What did I say? Never mind. Police look like they could use some help. Damn, that was brutal. There's probably inside. You guys stay here. All right, Somebody let's get was in a hurry. Spider-Man. <coughs> You're hurt. I'm okay. But you got to find Mr. Standish fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. 
So glad you're here. I can't find my car. I sworn I parked on this level. <laughs> I just took I did I just took the guy with him. Hey, don't worry. You just hang out there, homie. Don't worry about it. I still got myself fucked up. Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Oh my god. Look at that, look at that combo. Good fight. A for effort. The elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, almost there. Stay out of the light. Careful. They ain't gonna do shit. Oh my god, they're starting. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, not good. There's Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. Bro, I'm tired of uh I should take him out. I just wanna get this shit. I'm tired of fucking with them, you know what I mean? Clear. Hope Standish is all right.
All right, let's go back to what we were let's doing before you guys so rudely distracted me. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information on a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Almost got him! Try to fall slower! You okay? Yeah, I think so. Good, good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. <laughs> what a mood. Hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Honestly, I forgot my whole point with, uh... He's safe. That football thing. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. I'll let you know what I find on Delaney. All right. It's not like I'm gonna do any side quests, to be honest. Oh, what I want to say is, so I started playing uh, 2K NBA 2K23, and if you were listening to my previous uh, episode, I was ranting about uh, how fucking shit 2K is in their uh, situation. So as I started playing 2K23, yeah, it, it, I'm not gonna lie. Compared to previous years where, you know, you do high school, like 2K21, bro, is so much better in terms of the my career experience. I fucking hate 23. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's like the stand, you know, the game, the the whole court stuff is the same, you know, it's, nothing's really fucking different other than, you know, roster. I do think it's cool that you do the whole press conference, walk around the arena and shit, but the fact that you have to, like, utilize the city... You have to run from, you know, between HQ, the, uh, the, you know, the court, arena, and shit like that, and all their stuff. Bro, they are literally trying to make it so you have to have the city and basically be online in order to play your my career. But then, you know, at the discussion, they could shut off the servers. Like, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm... That's... And... To be honest, I hate it. it. It just makes the thing so tedious. I got to use a skateboard to go between places. Bro, no. Just let me play my game and fucking go. I don't want to do this whole bullshit. No, but if you and nice you go way, literally somehow. You, it was so lazy. Like all of a sudden, you know, you're almost you're got the you have a rivalry already. Like that's not even really established. Like a thousand percent. It just is like. Oh wow, a rivalry because we got drafted and now we all of a sudden, boom, championship, then boom, you're already in the NBA. We're in 21, which they shut down the servers, which I'm still pissed about. You know, you do the whole, uh, you know, high school, fucking NBA draft, 
Like, shit like that was fun. Like, that just overall was a great fucking game to play, and I loved playing it. When I actually was, you know, interested in doing, you know, playing the NBA games. But, I, I don't know, I'm just... Spider-Man, so you found one of my recon points. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is, can you stop the bombs I've planted? Mystery man's got recon points spread all over the city. Bro, I don't give a fuck. No, but it's... I don't know. I'm just really salty that they fucking shut down the servers. And it's like... 23 just runs like shit for some reason. And I'm playing on the PS5. And it just, like, runs like fucking dog shit. Especially when you have to, like, reconnect to the city and shit. I'm just like... Ugh... That's I'm I don't know I'm just really fucking salty over to the whole, that whole situation it just real it's like so now I have a game that's fucking useless I actually have two games that are fucking useless. I, I mean I'm like I don't want to go back to play fucking you know NBA 20 or 2K20 but it, if if I would I would literally shit myself if they have those servers up but not the 21 servers. There's no way that those motherfuckers would have those servers up, but not 21. Literally, their very first next-gen game. Find out about Isaac Delaney? Check out the picture I would... Oh, my God. Which one is Delaney? I don't know. Because you'll have to go to the party to find out. Mysterio Lizard Falcon. I don't know. That shit just really just fucking grinds my gears. Like, I actually... like I like... They put way more effort into their career mode, like in terms of establishing like a realistic, you know, venture, you know, the draft, all sort of shit. Way more than you know, EA does. I mean, not for Madden. They put they they're starting to go their you know last couple of years, you know, handful of years has actually started to establish more of a hands-on routine. But I'm in terms of um, EA UFC, they've yet to like really hone in on that shit. I mean, they tried with Coach Dave, the Coach Davis shit, but I'm not gonna lie. The whole Coach Davis thing, and like the really shitty want? story, like that's honestly should just toss out. They should just fuck off with that. You know, they could really the do a whole lot more. Of Let's find out which one. But they really don't. Like, if like they should do like a white the weigh-ins and shit. Like you have to. Like, cause to be honest, hold on. Let me enjoy chip. Why you guys gotta be so nasty? Everyone's in costume. My people. Doctor. No. But like the whole hey, point of that. training is. Excuse me, are you Dr. Delaney? Oh, Spider-Man, my nemesis. You won't catch me this time. <coughs> oh no, smoke. Whatever will I do? Vape it. This is the end for you, Spider-Man. Now I have you. Hey, what's wrong with you? I worked on that helmet for a week. I need to find Dr. Delaney. He's out in the party somewhere. Who are you? I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> Smart ass. Are you are you fucking are you fucking stupid? Do you not see me use fucking webs to rip that shit off and you just see my fucking okay. acrobatic ability that would make fucking oh my god. Like, bro, are, are, are you that fucking stupid? That guy throwing down candy could be Dr. Delaney. Gotta find a way up there. I'm looking for Isaac Delaney. I think he's on the dance floor. There he is. The lizard in the lab coat. All right, hold up. Hey, look, it's Spider Boy. Since someone of your nemesis is, we gotta uh, fight. Maybe later. Oh, what's the matter? 
a spider wimp? You afraid of my mighty horn? Hey, hey who? What, what are you? Come on! Hey! Fight! Uh, uh, Kick fight. his ass, Spider-Man! What the hell? Bro, crazy. Take it easy. J just tell me what you want. This is a joke, right? Those aren't real guns. Back now. Let him go. Oh shit, I wasn't ready. Keep your head down. Oh my god. Don't kill us. Bro. No. But I was like I was saying the whole point of training and like doing that shit for fights is so fucking redundant. Like I like for so many points of the career mode for UFC 4, I think Everybody UFC okay? 4 is like literally the shittiest UFC Good. game that has come out. Like, Happy Halloween. I don't know what they were thinking with the whole cosmetic shit. That shit was fucking hot goddamn garbage. Shit was more useless. Like, like, bro, like, yes. Yes, I'm playing a UFC game so I can go into UFC fights and wear a fucking, like, clown suit. Are you fucking movie. kidding me, bro? Like, it's so fucking stupid. I literally didn't see that coming. Like, who the fuck does that shit? I do like that, you know. They should, like, uh, I, I mean, I wish it would allow you to freely do your weight class and shit. Like, if you want to, like, like, let's say, you know, you go crazy... In like one weight class, so you go up, you dominate that weight class, and then you like, ah, fuck it, I'm gonna go down, like another, go back down, and then, ah, uh, I want to go back down even more, and then end your career. Like they need to like just allow you to do shit like that. You know what I mean? I was thinking, like, John Jones. Hold on. Like, I'm thinking, like, the ultimate fucking cha challenge of any fighter who's just so dominant in their divisions and just so high, high above the skill level. So, let's say you start out at middleweight. Who are you? You recently began working with someone in an Oscorp lab. Never mind, we'll wait. You know that. We don't have much time, Isaac. Tell me his name. Show's over, Lee. Apparently the show's not over. Oh boy. His name, Dr. Morgan Michaels. Thank you. Wow. Uh. 
So what I was saying is like the like if you really are like a W champion, you know, you should just become like the Penta champ. You know, get five different belts, start off at middleweight, go down to welterweight, lightweight, or like I would say if you're so let's say if you're natural middleweight, go down the lightweight, go down lightweight, welterweight, middleweight, light heavyweight, heavyweight. You know, it just, it just it's just light work type shit. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I I'm a huge fan of the UFC and a huge fan of the, like the games and stuff like that and the career mode. I don't really fuck with the online. Online just annoys the fuck. I mean, people just like the cheese and like fucking. You know, if you have a worse Wi-Fi connection, you're 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 golden apparently. At least from the matches I play. So I have my shit connect up to a fucking router or my Ethernet. And if you have a shitty fuck or like you have a shitty That's fucking internet, you're good. You're God just like me. your way to fucking victory. That'll be punching all of a sudden you'll lag all of a sudden all of a sudden like a bunch of uh Or oh, never mind, if you're lagging. I don't know, my brain fucking hurts right now. <coughs> oh, fuck. Stop them from hurting each other. Oh no, bro. Bro, why would you fuck with Sam Sulik like that, bro? Fuck out of here. Alright. Apologies. I'm gonna get that uh, steroids out of you, buddy. I'm gonna beat that fucking steroids out of you. Oh fuck! Believe me, this is for your own good. Bro, how the fuck did they just grab me like that? I'm literally not doing shit. I cannot fucking move, bro. Hop off my fucking cot. Oh my god, you you literally smell like fucking ball sack, bro. Stop them from hurting each other. Apologies. What did Lee do to these people? Not that guy again. You'll be okay later. me this is for your own good crazy Yuri, I need your help. I've got reports of shots fired at the SU. Yeah, that's me. I'll explain later. But right now, you need to find a Dr. Morgan Michaels. Martin Lee's coming after him. Copy that. Question is, I mean, I, this game is gonna be like a little bit better than UFC 4. I, I'm guessing it looks. Spider-Man, who is this Dr. Michaels? It looks very similar to UFC 4. I'm not gonna lie. Project. Maybe better graphics. Like, I think yeah, that's gonna be like no. the ma Sable major change between UFC 4 and 5 because it's EA. They they're fucking lazy. Where? They're like almost I you guys on the comparable level of 2K. So I. Okay, so. I have an idea on how to find him. I'll let you know if it works. But I don't know. I I've hoped that you know they actually gave a fuck. But. Yeah, it's 2K. I don't know. 2K just something about it still hurts. It hurts yeah, my fucking heart. But so did me. I, I just the thing that irritates me the most is that it's not even an old game. It literally came out in like what 2020. It's a three three something year old game. Three four year old game, if that. 
and it's basically an unplayable game unless you sure. just magically well, like want to work your, your way to you uh, from that devil's breath import your character in character Here's and build I'll into fucking play and now but it's like lab. it's pointless from regulators they like they killed their the own game i've never heard of a company so is, like a major triple a company like 2k just Osborne purposely nuked their fucking game and if people Kirkland gave two shits of like that because what do you know like it just sets up a bad principle in my mind like if after like a like barely any time between you know its release and the new current one like it, was, it, it literally was 21 what was it 2021 I believe yeah it was it was 21 we're at 24 literally three games later like that game's like fucking useless like that is mad and that's why i'm just like i am really i just i'm not a huge fan of the fact that okay that's how i can get you know, in the woman's office can't get in like, there without shutting it's down just some everything is re everything important in what makes that game popular is so heavily involved online when it really doesn't need to be like playing 2k21 like into the dead ass, it did not need to be fucking outside. like connected online or rely on their servers because fuck that shit but for 2k23 i can completely understand why it would rely on their servers considering that they made you know the park and everything like so heavily fucking influenced and a part of you know their game and i think that's you know they're, you know, they're the smart on their part to do it because it's like, oh, well, uh, yeah, our servers are down. You there know how heavily it's involved in the park. I don't know. It, the, the amount of salt I have in my fucking heart over this shit is ungodly. Like, you, nothing can. Looks like there's four of these around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. I don't know, Same like, it, like nothing grinds my gear more than that shit. It, 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 it's that. like this, it's Keep almost on, it's like, on the issue. same level Just of, uh, Rockstar with, like, how much of a fuck they don't give for, uh, um, Target spotted. It's Spider-Man. All Sable teams. Looks like we have spotted. Some oh, okay. Problem. Like, Rockstar doesn't give a fuck about GTA Online. Or, sorry, Ro Red Dead Online, sorry, I meant... That they they give too much of a fuck about uh too much of a fuck about GTA Online that that they literally don't support or do anything for uh Red Dead Online. It's it's like people it's All so bad games. because people joke Looks about like, like sort of oh my problem. god you shouldn't have give us more bonuses Copy and benefits that. or whatever. Continuing exterior sweep. Right, I just find that shit hilarious. There's the second module. What? All agents. Someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. But, oh um, like, my, I don't know. I, I, I just feel like Everybody's got drones Activision, uh, 2K and EA just need all need to just, like, Exterior fucking stop negative. making games we until they can actually. Spotted. Oh, fuck it's me. Because I just feel like they, they just don't give a fuck about literally anything in terms of Table actually eight. making I games. Exterior sweep negative. We are all clear. Their goal is just to Still make like the most issue? minuscule amount of changes in a year span possible. And okay, just, just make it, their goal is literally to make enough changes to where it actually feels like maybe it's a different new game. That's why I say it like, that's why it's a joke that, um, you know, every year, you know, they just add a little bit more sweat to players. I'm like, that's dead ass though. Like they really do. That's what I at least feel like for 2K and especially EA, like they all do that dumb shit. I don't know. Like sports games are fucking awesome, all right. But it could be even better if gotta move. Companies actually just gave a little bit of a shit. Little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Speaking of crazy, gotta find that last module. There's the last one. But I don't know. I I nice. you know. Now I can get into Norman's like, office and hope. I think out of Morgan, all the Morgan sports Michaels. games made, 2K is probably one of the most like just Exterior overall like what captures the best experience possible Should in terms of, of you know, 
There's a press conference, all that shit. I feel like for 23, they lost that. Like, it, like, bro, the draft, all that shit. Like, I like doing that shit. That shit's fun. And you actually work on getting badges before you get into the NBA. Because in 23, now I'm in the NBA, you literally have one game. And it's like, I'm trying to hit, like, mad fucking threes, break some records, and I have to, like, sit and grind in the NBA, worsening my NBA career stats because they don't do this shit. I just, I just, I don't know, I find it really fucking just utterly lazy, and I'm just, that's why I'm just like, I'm playing this game for free until it gets taken off or does not matter anymore, because it's it just, like, the laziness is, is so bad. Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. AI controlled CRISPR. If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis, Huntington's, this is crazy. Creepy. Whoa, GR27 is devil's breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. Huge, huge. I don't know. I just, yeah, I, I, I just, the current state of sports games is atrocious. I, MJ, I, I don't this. know why people Devil's Breath wasn't actually designed spend to be a money weapon. on this shit. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. Like, but it's current like, form is wildly imperfect. Like, be honest with me. What is the difference between Madden 21 and Madden 24? I mean, yeah. There, there are, like, some key differences. They just slowly add shit over and over, like, over the years. They got, like I said, they make enough changes to where it actually feels like a new game. That's the goal. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach and that's why I kind of like the way UFC, UFC does it because they take they, they don't have to make a game every year like all of their companies do like they just make games when they make games and they make and usually when they drop a new game there's enough changes to where it actually makes a difference and then especially and that's why I'm kind of like I fuck with UFC 5 um, because it's enough of a change that it feels like a legit you know continuation in the franchise but for 2K Looks and like uh, Madden, it doesn't feel like I've that. Had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. He's not too excited. Where are you, MJ? Crap. Bro, no. Please, God, no. <laughs> I don't want to play this here again. That place is crawling with guards. Stop. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very... Gotta go, partner. Stand is just somewhere in there. I gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Here somewhere. What the? Wait! Damn it! I don't know what I was trying to do there, but it was something. What 
What's that? Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Got it. Time to move. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. Interesting. Must know something about Dr. Michaels. How's it looking? Convoy gonna be ready? Five by five. As soon as boss gives the word, we'll get Michaels moved to the new safe house. They're moving him. Have to find out where before we lose our shot. Get that truck moving. Should have been up town half an hour ago. Copy. We're rolling. Could really use a coffee. Go, go, go. Buddy, we're speed running. Bravo and Charlie are both on deck for Dr. Michael's relocation, ma'am. Add two more units. He carries the only sample of Devil's Breath. I will not be responsible for pandemic. Praise. What's important? Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries Devil's Breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. How does he go to the ass for us? Come on, come on. Oh! Fuck. Oh my god, you got there, Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure him. Again? What's up with these lights? Move it. <sighs> Close. <coughs> come on, come on. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. 
And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. What's that? I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What the that was hell? not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. There we go. Well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. <sighs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military... You know what? Can we not do this right now? Please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. No, I don't. I'm just waiting for the next mission. Stable right. control, requesting update from Bowery. Control, rooftop outpost under fire from demons. We'll get this tower. Here we go. I don't know. I'm definitely hyped for uh, what what movies were I seeing that were coming out? That the oh Robert Eggers uh, House for Rocky. That shit looks. That shit's gonna be crazy. I've been seeing like posters or whatever, like like uh, in terms of, like fan made posters or whatever, and I'm just like, you know, this shit's gonna be like, this shit's gonna go fucking crazy. That's Miles' mom. Hello, Mr. Parker. It's Rio Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Aunt May know, and I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. All right, let me work on this tower, motherfucker. See you, motherfucker.
definitely not loving the demons. Yeah, I, 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 I really could care less, buddy. I just want to get this in. For some reason, you're preventing Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. All right, on to our next objective. But yeah, I, I cannot wait for some of these horror movies that are coming out. I don't know. There, there's a lot of great horror movies that's come out. I saw Cobweb. Cobweb was really interesting. Uh, I saw this one really just fucking weird ass movie called oh, no. Spin Marine. Or whatever the fuck it is. And. The whole point, Ooh, it, it, you, you just have to watch clips online. I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a, it, it's just like the whole point of it is to be unsettling, but to be honest, it's just weird. I mean, it has a purpose to it, and there's like a um, what is it? And there's like a story to it or whatever. I'm just like, okay, that's 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 interesting here. Did not know that, um, but. Bomb in the truck. Gotta disable it. Interesting. Ten to one, okay. those guys didn't even have licenses. Situation resolved. Beat on those <laughs> yeah, that that movie's just fucking weird. Talk to me was really good though. That is, I, I I liked the I like the whole the story is really good and how the the ending is like god tier. The end of that film is just really good. And just like yeah, it's just too damn good. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. I saw these objects and I just thought it was important, but I realized I'm fucking... Looks like I could optimize this power relay. Nice. There we go. Okay, what next? It looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit.
Boom. Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. There we go. This has to be it. Boom. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I call that a mild success. I call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Interesting. All right, you have fun all that, good friend. Oh shit, wrong. A direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risk. We'll work them out in time. Hmm. 
<laughs> hmm. Oh my god. I fucked up again. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telephone. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I'm out. Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? Nope. I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye. We'll wrap up with this mission. made your last mistake, punk. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager? Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros. Okay? Uh, okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time. But when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Ryan on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. <laughs> The other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's it's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing, don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock. Okay? I can. <laughs> oh, sh. S sorry. No, no. No. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you keep that up, and uh, you'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey. Uh. Thanks. You know. Anytime. I just punch Spider Man. Shelter should be just ahead. Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider Man. What? Crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would have bought it off you, and then he'd be, like, famous. Yeah, I'll show him next time. I 
I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Uh, cool. Later. Everyone have their IDs out and ready for inspection. Are you kidding me? This is gonna take forever. That drone wasn't watching. I could jump the fence. Wow, that was too easy. I can't believe Sable systems are unsecured. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. Okay, hacking app. Don't fail me now. Whoa! Damn! That's racially motivated. Alright, we're gonna have to extend this shit to part two, you know what I mean? Just... Basically, we have five minutes left, and I'm, you know, this shit's definitely gonna take a minute. So, just want to say, hope you guys all have a great, you know, morning, even night, you know, whatever time you end up watching this. And, uh, you know, hope you guys are all doing good. Obviously, you know, mental health, uh, National Mental Health Day is coming up here in October. You know, obviously, most important thing you can ever do is, you know, keep yourself check and know your limitations so have a good one